Hello everyone, Altered Maybe here, and today we're gonna continue our journey with Witcher Hearts of Stone. Last episode was interesting! I mean, it was a surprise to me as well. I did not think I would get that angry, but turns out I'm very sensitive to being double-crossed. I'm just sad that Geralt couldn't fulfill the wish of no one dies, but at the end of the day I think somebody was eventually going to die. It was going to be one of the brothers, or both! And in our case, it's both. So, we effed around and we're gonna find out. So without further ado, let's get to it, shall we? Okay, before I go talk with the old girl, just a little recap of what I did off camera. Don't worry, I didn't do much. I just wanted to deal with Hattori and organize my inventory while you guys were gone. So I don't occupy the on-screen space with me trying to make a decision. So basically, in summary, I sold whatever is not needed, I get rid of the new moon armors because I don't want to be twinses with the stranger anymore. So what I did for the runestone is the exciting part for me. I don't know what it changes, but... I have the Twarog runestone in my crafting menu for a while now. I think I got it from the Master Alchemy guy, the druid, the grumpy one, uh, Gremist, I think it was. And it said placing an empty socket on a sword goes wonderfully with the Pierrot runestone. But I did not have a Pierrot runestone in my crafting, so I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know what it goes good with. And now I realize that I have it. Now I have the Pierrot runestone, which goes wonderfully with the Twarog runestone. I don't know what they achieve when they go wonderfully together, but yeah, I was ready to try. And now I have my dumpling and milk derivative runestones in my Viper Venomous Steel Sword. Um, excuse me? Like, did the runestones I put in made it level 42 and didn't change anything else? And what does it mean for me? Because I'm not level 42. I am so confused. Let's go find all geared, I guess. I mean, if I can find a human enemy to tackle, I guess I will understand if I can use my sword, because I'm now low-key scared that I cannot lose use my sword. Is that a thing that can happen? Hello, guys. For a herring, drown a piece. Huh? I'll wait for it to drop. My valor stands on three pillars: good food, good drink, and good fun. Blimey, those are some razors you've got. Do you guys do anything other than the gibberish talking? You seek something? Man. Not really. Come one. Come okay, the cook is in a good mood. Cheers, Cheers to you as well. Your service, squire. No, thank you. Hi, Stefan. Is everything okay? Can I talk with you and gossip? Nah. Shame. Okay. Uh, I'll go talk with Olgir. Thank you very much. Hi, guy. How are you? You know, I started to kind of like you, which scares me, because then there will be a problem. Did you guys put graffiti on the wall? Need to chat. I'm all ears, Witcher. Um, I did not ask that. You and Ophir, curious about the king there. Tell me, how'd you meet the Ophir you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? You like to talk about yourself. That I cannot deny. Ophiri was a dofa on a voyage through lands unknown to learn of their cultures and customs. He fell for her last. As it happened, this woman was already important to me. But at the time, I was now compared to a noble from a foreign land. So her parents promised her hand to the Afiri, though she loved me. If you'd only seen his feeble attempts at charm. When she asked why he travelled disguised as a common merchant, he said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he turned into a What? Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. What? He accidentally wished to be a frog? Not you making his wish come true? Did you wish for his wish to be coming true? Okay, I mean, this is an additional conversation. I don't know if it's open because I found the letter or just the story progressed. Uh, interesting. So, 
I have the house for you? Got something for you. I love gifts. But I prefer to yeah, can we do that in private? Oi, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. I think this is serious. Oh, that's better. All right. What do you have for me? Ta da! That's <laughs> Rosoli's house, as requested. What are you going to do with it exactly? Ah, Horst must be. Horst is dead. He's not. <laughs> no, he's not anything except dead. His brother, same thing. A few others, too. Stones you've got. But I didn't think you'd have the stomach for a massacre. Um, had no choice, you underestimate me. I don't want to say you underestimate me, like I'm very proud with the situation. Um, if there was a way to avoid it, I would kinda. I mean, if there was a way to avoid it without Stranger being a dick, I would try it. But they deserve it. But I had no choice. Situation got out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sounds familiar. There you are, drinking, puffing on henbane, and then surprise. Not exactly. Rolling across the floor. I don't know how. Or I know how and why. I'm not amused. No. Why not? Because unlike you, killing gives me no pleasure. The boss soldiers aren't worth your tears. Sons of bitches to a man. I'm true, true, true. That's why they're not having my tears. But I'm not gonna celebrate it that much. Ah, so he needed the papers? Why'd you need those papers? Why did you need those papers? To sink the boss soldiers, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatane. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Marius. Oh! Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Post and Yule are gnawing on soil now. But thanks to these papers, Aww. their relatives won't get the auction house. Families lost it for good. And the hospital will have the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. Okay, I'm so confused. I think you can tell it by my face. Because first I thought like... He wanted it to give it to the poor. Then I thought he was like, no, screw the poor. I'm gonna get it. Then it become to the poor again. But then it was for revenge. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, this is a consequence that I love. Love, 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 love. Because I think if I leave the papers with Evald, he wouldn't have cherished this wish of donating all the wealth to the children's hospital. So... Oh, all the more reasons to be happy. Um, okay. Game, thank you for not making me regret my decision. Um, but what did they do to you? Exactly, like... The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. Oh. Uh, Are you really interested? Yes! Yes, I want to know everything, please! Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. <laughs> Cheeky as ever. Not cheekier than you. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah. Horse earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel yeah. for. Yeah. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. 
I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern, drank around, a second, a brawled, then had another tankard. And then, then, I asked the wrong bloke for help. God, I started to like you so much. That's a problem because I don't know what's gonna happen to you. No, because like it was very sad to find the freaking love letter he wrote in an auction house. Horse is a horrible person anyway, was a horrible person, so I'm glad he's dead. I'm glad that I took your revenge on your behalf. I'm very happy about it. I am so scared to know the rest at this point. What happened then? Uh, what happened then? Which yeah, that I know! Which one big stinking pile of shite. How dare! Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something? Third to wish. Exactly. Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the heron out the barrel. What? What? Hello? Who are you? Come on, none of this dallying. What the hell? Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? I oh, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. What just happened? The theory believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. <laughs> The gifts should be opened in private, but the discussions should be made outside. <laughs> Why were you keeping that man in a barrel? Yeah. Barrel? What was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn. Wrong Obviously, history. as always. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down. I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. I mean, yeah, all here you're so fucked up that I don't know if I should hate you or if I should be amazed by you. I I don't know. Um, yeah, he's also quite charming. That also has a play. But what the fuck, man? You get what's coming to you one day. How, Gerald? He cannot die. How does one get what's coming to them one day if they cannot die? Must have made quite a few enemies along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxenford claim there are no gods. After death, there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. I have a very fair argument because I don't know what I cannot imagine living forever. 
That that is a void feeling, I guess. So I guess if somebody manages to kill him, it's a blessing in disguise at this point, I guess. I don't know. Um Okay, now the third task. Let's talk about it. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud. Sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of No. Advice. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, yes. Truly loved. Your third wish now. No, I'm gonna bond with him. Yes, I love. No, I've never loved. You don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm in between. Yes, I love to. You don't give a shit. I. Yes, I've loved. And somehow in the DLC edition, I totally forgot about her, but I've loved. Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead, we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. I don't want to drink with you. No, I desperately want to drink with them. Once it's over, once the job's done. We'll drink once the job's done. Afraid that's impossible. Succeed and that's the end of me. Fail and you'll not be back. Third wish. Still waiting to hear it. Aye, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted. But what if it is like the right Triss now. one? You wished to hear a wish. Now you out. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this dauntless. But one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor. East of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. Wait, if I grant a wish, will you die? I want to drink with them. I. Oh, Gerd. Hey, Witcher. How about joining our band? What? Ooh, You're two people sitting on top of each other. What are you guys doing? Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm so sad now. God, he disappeared to the abyss. Um, I'm not happy about that. No, I mean, I know in this position Geralt doesn't like all Geralt. But I do. I want to learn more about him. I want to talk with him. I want to know who he is. Also, what does he mean by having a wife? Like, did they happily ever after until the wife survive? Or he just marries someone else and because he lives forever, he outlived the wife. I have so many questions. Scenes from a marriage is my quest name. I just realized that. God, I'm itching to know. Also, what I was saying during the conversation, I try not to talk during the conversations, but sometimes I get very excited about the idea I have. The Rose of Remembrance that he gave to Tress was very well alive now, so is it something like that? Yet again, I don't know how one gets a Rose of Remembrance or give it to someone, really. I mean, giving I can imagine, just having that rose in possession, I don't know how that will work. Yeah, now the crypt is closed. Oh no! Can I pay a visit to my body, Lodimir? Hi, Lod. How are you, buddy? Flowers on Lodimir's grave. Oh, I guess Olgir visited. Columbines from Giverny. Wonder who brought them. Could Shani be missing Vlad? And yeah, bringing flower really sounds like a Shani thing to do. Or. All Geared came to visit like he was told to be doing occasionally, you know? That's a very specific flower, I have to say. Can I go and talk about this with Shiny now? One eternity later. 
Hi, Shani. You have patience waiting. Just saying. Yes, girl. Do you always sit here and wait? God damn you. Farewell. Oh well. We tried. <laughs> Mighty rusty and covered in creepers. Need another way in. Fair. I thought it was an additional location, actually. I didn't thought that was the way in. <laughs> no problem. Well, we'll figure it out. But I also want to look around. This is a big estate, huh? Kendrick. Kendrick! What? Who the hell is Kendrick? Hey! You hear me? Oh. I mean... Kendrick. Kendrick. You there? Not so loud. Ah! God, scared me off Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F Foglets? Oh, sweet mother, my little. Why did I ever come here? Who's Kendrick? Kendrick fellow. Who is he? I... We partners. Sneak into derelict houses. Always something valuable lying about. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thief. Thieves steal from the living. What's the arm taking from the dead? Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. Ain't nothing. Oh, great. Called out to him, but... I need to find out who Kendrick is then, or what happened to Kendrick. Oh! What, what, what was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off I'll my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around. I'm Exactly. <laughs> Pretty sprawling, this estate. Search for the partner of the thief you met. Use your witcher senses to find that rose in this fog. Wait a second, Geralt. Use your witcher senses to search the grounds for one. Okay, okay. I want to find Kendrick. Also, just in case, I feel like this place is haunted. <laughs> But yet again, since all the family members are in the crypt, I don't know who is here. What? Water's ice cold. Mountain stream cold. Talk to black dog? Uh... <laughs> Hi, black dog. What are you doing in a place like this? Best shoe before you get hurt. Why am I talking with the black dog? I don't want anything to happen to the black dog. A grave here? Are you the ghost of the black dog of Olgird? That looks like a dog head. And this is a graveyard, basically. Kendrick! You 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 wait there, doggy. I need to find us. Stupid thief, but yet again, we saw the vision. There was something, so. Beehives. Well maintained, but dormant. Okay, so somebody is living here. Somebody literally started occupying this uh, land, because it was abandoned for too long now, so wouldn't be a surprise. Someone's still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. But somebody is growing beautiful flowers? Somebody likes to paint too? Woods rotted completely. No. Whoever it is does not paint anymore, I guess. Where are you, Kendrick? Like, I want to find you first, to be completely honest. Fresh manure. Okay, whoever is living here was probably mad at Kendrick, but is Kendrick dead? Kendrick, are you dead? Rather worn. Used often. Wonder by who. No violet.
that rose here. Maybe somewhere out back. I still want to find Kendrick. Shame you can't talk. Yes. I would love for you to be my buddy. Like John Wick. Kendrick? A busted lamp. And the ground's trampled. Doggy? Maybe I should get my lamp. Somebody dragged something this way. A body? Uh, I will. Wait, I'm not using that goddamn lamp for so long that it's not even here anymore. But it should be somewhere, no? Where's my lamp? I don't know, maybe? Or I will just have a magic aura for no reason. Someone dragged a wounded man through here. Yep, somebody got Kendrick hard, but... Prince from cleated boots, leading from the back of the garden. I cannot foresee where this story is going <laughs> right now. That's kind of is giving me a little bit of attack, but I don't think there's something with the slam. I should let it go. Doggy? Oh, a cat this time. Hi, are you a sorceress at this point? Philippa? I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That digging? I mean... <laughs> wow, and you're not even scared of me, so you are a bit shady. A lockpick? Must have been the other thieves. But I don't know, I can hear the sounds and see the cat here, so are you guys a team? What is going on here? Hello. Excuse me, sir. What you doing? What am I seeing? Why? Graves, unmarked. Laid out in rows, like garden beds. Hey. Hear me? Did you kill all of them? Silver one? Of course silver one. Other thief. Bodies mutilated. What are, Who you? are you? What are you? What is that? Caretaker? I don't even know what to use against a caretaker. What, what do you take care of? What is that? What is going on? I feel like I shouldn't be around when you glow. Just a feeling. I am amazed by whatever that is, but do you? Are these souls helping him? What? There are multiple. It's like. He's from the underworld or something. So you killed Kendrake. You're trying to protect all gear 
should just stay. Is that what Olgerd meant by like... You would fail? No, I don't think this would be the greatest challenge in front of me. I'm not saying it's not challenging. I'm just saying that I don't think I will see the greatest challenge right from the beginning. Stop it! Can we get out of there, Harold? You're regenerating! That's not good! Oh, my art did nothing to you. I was so ready for it to do something! Let's munch on the fish a bit. Um... Okay, he's regenerating like crazy, so... Um... Just give me a second. Don't I have... Yeah, that. I hope that will do something because I lost all my superior healing things. God damn it! I... I suck. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just like thinking about restarting it or do I just wait for myself to be dead? Let's not give up. Okay. I hope it's do- no, it's not doing anything! He regenerated- He regenerates every time he damages me! Oh, fuck! <laughs> I mean, that is a beautiful touch, but it's also very scary. I don't know what to do about this. I'm not in a good state. I did not start this fight in the right food. I was hoping that I could burn you or something! I mean, at this point, I guess Quen is the most logical choice. You know what? Uh, no, I mean, this cannot, this was bad. This was bad, bad. So, let's start over with what we know, okay? <laughs> I don't have patience to die and I don't have faith in the fight. So, now I will go in with a Quen because I guess if he cannot damage me, he cannot regenerate, right? Right? God damn you! Okay, I will be patient. I will not try to get him right away. Because he's impressive! Oh, the ghosts of yesterdays are here. Are you guys attacking the caretaker? Shit! N it doesn't have to be me that he harms to regenerate! Fucking hell! Welcome to my infinite fight, I guess, then! I mean, I'm impressed by every little detail they put in, but I'm also like, what the hell am I gonna do with this guy? One eternity later. I mean, <laughs> I am literally like a suicide bomber right now, <laughs> just like <laughs> getting a coin on me and exploding to his face. That's, that is the strategy right now. A strategy that I'm not proud of, but a strategy. Can you accidentally hit the floor again? That would be great. No! 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 Stop it! Stop it! No! All my efforts! All my efforts is gone! You got to be kidding me! Oh. 
I mean, let's try it again, okay? Now, no need to wait for me to be dead. It's not gonna end well, so... Now I know kind of what works, what not. Um, yeah. Hi, again. Uh, does Eardin do anything to you? Did you just remove my Eardin? What are you? What are you? No, so this is not what I want. I mean, if he attacks me instead of them, it still heals, so it's bullshit that I'm doing. Can I do that now? Would it change anything? It didn't. Nothing! Let me try this again, I guess. And uh, here they come again. So it was for nothing. Good. No, Dimitri didn't do anything. He's again doing it. He's throwing me away. He cheered. That's amazing. You know what? Can you open my inventory? Thank you. <laughs> I'm calm. Why did you think I was not calm? That's... They're at 100%, so I cannot blame them. I mean, this is a silver sword kind of situation for sure, so... Go, 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 basta! Can you... Wait. I need to be using something. Anything. <laughs> Let's try the lesson at least. I want to feel like I'm doing something. So that was no point. Wait! No, the others! The others! Where are they? I. Hey, you guys stop. I shouldn't hit him. Die! Now! Fucking hell, stop! They don't stop at all! And they come in time, in waves, so... It's not like I can freeze him, get rid of all of them, and then move on. That's not an option. So what is an option? I don't get it! I feel a bit stupid or like missing a big point, because otherwise how is this gonna end? If he does this every time I hit a benchmark, like, or will it stop summoning them at one point? I don't think so. I think he has enough dead body. No. Ah, okay. I mean, I wasted it, so that's good. Tong.
wait. Maybe I can stop now? Stop! Stop! Well, I don't know what to do. He's doing this endlessly and... What am I gonna do? This doesn't do anything at all. I don't know. I genuinely don't know what else that can be done. What what do you want me to do? What can I do? This is a pointless fight. Every time I defeat you, you're just gonna regenerate, eh? The point being is... I don't get it. Like, what is expected of me right now? Because when those guys come, there is nothing I can do to stop them. He literally goes to full health in like two sips. <laughs> It's not like it's, he can do it two times and it's over. I mean, I don't know if it comes the third time I will see, but... Not good. Great. I'm gonna die here. is not a good idea are you gonna come or stay there forever what is I cannot see shit here yeah okay great amazing
come on! You need to die, I'm so sick of this! Die! 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 Oh, he fucking finally! What the fuck was that? No eyes or nostrils, deformed organs. Damn thing had no right to be alive. Hi, Black Cat. Do you want to explain what's going on? Oh, the doggy is coming too. Please don't make me kill you guys. I you are so lovely. I don't want to do it. Well, huh? Philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but <laughs> I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. Um, yeah, do you want to explain to me what this thing was? What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Okay. Very far away. Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. So we didn't name it. You two are a little mysterious. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. Why? So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Okay. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. What do you mean later? Okay, I'm looking for a violet rose. Also, isn't that the violet rose that I give to Iris? And isn't Iris dead? So why there's a caretaker still? You know the master of the house, the owner? Old yeah. Maverick. Yes, we know him, but he left. And his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady Von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see Well, her? she's not dead? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgir gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. Um... So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. Okay. Um, can I just meditate here for a second? If you guys wait for me, thank you. Uh, that was a mess. My anger management skills were put to test. Hi guys, I mean, you guys are adorable, but... Oh, you're a race hanging out here now. Is that the thing? Um, hello? Iris? That is the most trappy thing I see. Do I have another boss fight now? Can we negotiate? Hi. Gotta be careful. What do you mean? How can I be careful to that? Apart from a quick save, I already meditated. Meditated. I wish I can pronounce words sometimes. <laughs> I wish that. Uh, cause my adrenaline is through the roof right now. I'm not ready for another boss fight. <laughs> God damn in hell! <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah, let, let's look at the saddle. Yeah, that's not useful at all. Okay, then. I don't think she's gonna let me have the rose, considering that she's a ghost. Thief! I did not take anything. Not... 
Okay, wait, maybe that was not the rose then. All geared as I've never known him. A different man then. Aww. I prefer older old geared though. Oh, I'm taking Iris' sketchbook. What the hell was that? Well, she's mad that I took her sketchbook. How can you be surprised about that? I just needed to complete... Okay, I, I thought I can look at it. You know. I thought that's a thing I can do. Dinner time. Here's the third one. Hmm, tidy. And everything is clean, ready for a meal to be served. Caretaker must still set the table. And Iris is angry. Hi, Iris. Um, all you sent me, I can explain, <laughs> ish. Unless, if you're angry with all your, then that might suck. That might be a problem for me. Yeah! <laughs> happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. That's surprisingly wise words. Hmm. Fire damage. Interesting. I mean, Olgierd has a tendency to literally set fire to everything that does not please him. So, <laughs> I think he's a pyromaniac at this point. So, did Olgierd did this? What? Hello? The bedroom! I don't think this is your bedroom and... Okay, thank you for... Opening the door to me. Uh... Okay, I was... Not... I was not expecting darkness. I was... <laughs> let's, let's be honest that I was expecting the rate though. Hi, Iris. This is a cool location. But who are you? No, at the same time, there was a fly that's flying over the light, so it seems like the wraith is in my house. That was creepy. <laughs> I thought you decided to go, not... Recharge and come back. Come on. This is not fair. Stay in here. I couldn't. Okay, another endless fight. I'm so happy about it. Get it. Do I run? Running is not an option. Am I supposed to be doing something else? I mean, because for the caretaker, I mean, did you die in the fire? No, don't go in. Don't go in! I cannot stop it from going there. Okay. Did it work? When I attack the green glow. I guess. 
Yes. Okay. Okay. See, I am making progress. I'm happy about it. No. Come on, get out! Okay, don't use Eagly to attack her because we need it to. Where? Burn it! Iris, if you're Iris, stop, goddammit! If you're not Iris, do stop, actually. That's not. Whoever you are, fucking stop! Come on! You're dead already! Get him up! Which one? Gerald! Stop it! Hear me! Stop it! The Wraith from the Painting! All geared, what kind of a world do you have, if I may ask? What the hell was that? <laughs> I like how Geralt's only line in all of this is, What the hell was that? Yeah, what the hell all of this? What is this? What is going on? I came from here. All the paintings are on fire. Dead chamber. Iris was supposed to be. Iris? Oh. Gotta be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. You could have told me. <laughs> A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. What? This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. Uh, and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, how did she die? How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No. It simply burst. Like a broken heart? Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. That's freaking sad. Okay, so did Olga just get married to this poor woman and abandon her? I don't get it. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? They're not. We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Mm. Got it. You want to leave this place, leave these bodies. <gasps> Surprise. No. no, not at all. I will help you. Her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. What do you mean? Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness. Yeah, I so. Her. I think. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Yeah, sure. Let's bury her there. Maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. Yeah, don't call him dog at this point. I mean, it's a good dog, but... It feels wrong. What? Oh. Do I choose this? She liked to sit here, but this is not a good place for a grave. I agree. Also, how am I gonna dig? Close to the house. Oh. I'll keep searching. Yeah. Iris von Everick adored flowers, but she would never want to destroy them. 
night. I'll take the grave somewhere else. What? Where is this even? What am I looking at? All right, she loves to paint. This place seems suitable. Yes, she loved to paint. That's not going to stay there forever, but... Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Aww. I guess I'll be the one to do that. We don't know her! Oh, Gear, you should be doing these! These are your life memories and your duties! I didn't know Iris won Everek. Iris won Everek was a talented painter. Iris was Olgird won Everek's wife. I don't think the first one is a good one. I don't want to be defined as Olgird's wife at this point because he fucking abandoned me, so. Can't say much about Iris von Everek, but I do know I like her paintings. It's a shame her art couldn't bring her greater comfort. At times, fate muddles our path. And life turns toilsome, hard to bear, yet all deserve respite and peace in death. Place her sketch pad on the grave? You two got anything to add? Okay, place the sketch pad on the grave. Your name's inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. So, guys? <laughs> you two. Got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. That was beautiful. Thank you. Uh... The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Please don't fight, just... Oh, hello, Iris. You wanna... Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you... Okay, that's weird. What? What are you looking at? Oh. Should I follow you? All right. Is that a thing we can do? What? What is this place? What kind of a distorted reality you guys created? Hi. The painted world. The work of Iris von Everek. Okay. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. So you are her paintings? Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Heart is held up yeah. Away. Yet you'd best believe it and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. You serious, bro? <laughs> all right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her, but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Are you serious? <laughs> sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw so you examining the tracks outside. Yes. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. 
Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say. Yeah! Easy to say! Um... Okay, so... As much as I want to continue this journey, I am out of my time, and it's all the caretaker's fault. I did not do anything about it. So, we will continue this in the next video. If you want to be there with me, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!